I'm John P, and on today's Geek Beat, we feel the need... The need for, for speed. speed. Today's episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Lumosity. Last week, Ken and I were in San Francisco, and while we were there, we stopped by to visit Mike from Edgertronic. If you're following me on Google Plus or Twitter, you might have seen their Kickstarter project that I passed along for a super high-speed camera that's relatively affordable. The camera's under 5K, which is a lot, but compared to any other camera that can do what this thing does, it's downright cheap. The Edgertronic can shoot a full 720p video at 700 frames per second. Now to put that in perspective, we generally watch video at 30 frames a second, so that means if you shoot 700 frames for one second, it'll take 23 seconds to watch at normal speed. That is a fast camera, my friends. As you can see, this video of me dropping a slinky seems to take forever, but when I was actually doing it, it happened literally in the blink of an eye. Here we go, ready? Yep. One, two... There were several things that I really liked about the Edgertronic, not the least of which was just the way it feels in your hand. The body of the camera is milled out of solid aluminum and then anodized to a soothing blue finish. I think you could actually drive a truck over it. It's also small enough to easily pack into a bag like the Think Tank shape shifter that we carry around. You can use different lenses on it, but the main requirement is that the lens has to be fully manual. This means Canon lenses won't work at all, but most Nikons will, as will Olympus and a few others. Using the Edgertronic was also dead simple. You could connect the camera to your computer or a network via Ethernet cable, log into a web-based interface, and choose the settings you want. The camera will shoot all the way up to 18,000 frames per second, but of course the resolution decreases dramatically. You can also choose the amount of time you want it to record, as well as pre-record. This way, the camera's always capturing, and when you hit the shutter release button, it gets, let's say, a couple of seconds before and a couple of seconds after, so you don't miss the event, since it's all happening really fast. At 720p, you can record up to about 10 seconds, but keep in mind, then you're gonna have to sit through a much longer finished video. Also, it takes about as long for the camera to process the video and spit it out as an H.264 compressed version as it does to watch it. So 10 seconds of recording can take a few minutes to process before you can take the next shot. The Edgertronic has a remote shutter input jack that'll use like a standard Canon camera release. It has a couple of USB ports for future expansion, and it has a power port so you can give it some juice. It does not have an internal battery, but it can be powered off a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug so you can pretty much power it with any travel battery. The camera is beautifully constructed and I was really impressed with its ease of use. When they've got some available, we'll get one to shoot a bunch more test footage and do a proper tutorial. So stay tuned for more info later. High speed cameras are fun, but you know what else is fun, Dave? Huh? A high speed brain. I wanna go fast. And that's what you'll get when you head on over to lumosity.com forward slash geekbeat and sign up for a free account. Lumosity is like a personal trainer for your brain that lets you build your own customized training program to improve your memory and attention. Plus, you get detailed reports and stats to keep track of your progress and see where there's room for improvement. And when I say training, I'm not talking about some boring death by PowerPoint lecture. We're talking about games and exercises that are actually fun, so strap a supercharger on your cranium and get the ball rolling at lumosity.com forward slash geekbeat. In other news, President Obama announced a plan to bring high-speed internet access to 99% of America's high schools within five years. Not sure about that other 1%, but that's good news for students in a global economy. After all, it's hard to compete with other connected kids when you aren't exactly connected. <laughs> If you like cops, 
you're gonna hate Star Chase because the company means to put an end to high speed car chases with their grill mounted GPS sticky cannons that go in police cars. What happens is when a cop is chasing a vehicle and things are getting dangerous, they just push a button in their cruiser and shoot a GPS tracker right at the car they're pursuing. A little sticky dart attaches to the car and the cops just back off and go get a donut or something. Anyway, when the criminal pulls over, the cops swoop in and give him a proper beat down or something like that. I'd be very careful what comes out of your mouth next. The system is installed in a single Iowa State Patrol car as well as a few cars in Florida, so no need to develop any super repellent coating yet for your getaway vehicle. Of course, over in Germany, you guys don't need to worry about high-speed chases because every drive is high-speed, right? Well, Elon Musk was over there cruising on the Autobahn and decided that the Tesla Model S needs some extra high-speed tuning, and he's gonna do it for free for German Tesla customers. The Model S normally has a top speed of 130 miles per hour, but Musk thinks it can use some tweaks for driving over the 81 mile per hour recommended limit. Like it's 81 minimum, Dave. Yeah. No word yet on what that's that a, means. Zone. I know that's in the school zone. <laughs> but what I'm guessing is there's gonna be an increased top speed, probably some throttle response tweaks for the high speed driving. I do imagine it will dramatically decrease your range, but hey, who cares? Oh, Musk also says they're stepping up the supercharger stations. You know, those are the high speed chargers for these Tesla cars all across Germany, and they hope to have the country covered by 2014. If only we could get a dealer in Dallas, maybe I'd buy one. That's it for today's show, but there's a lot more going on over on the Geeks Plus community at geekbeat.tv forward slash geeks. Nearly 26,000 of your fellow geeks are sharing news all day, every day, so check it out. That's what I'm going to go do right now. See you guys later.